Hello everyone. In this part, we're gonna look for the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification Real Exam questions. So let's get started. So the first question say, how much data can you store in S3? You can store up to one petabyte of data. Storage capacity is virtually unlimited. You can store up to one petabyte of data, then you are required to pay an additional fee or where there is a soft limit of 1000 terabyte of each AWS account. So the right answer is B. Storage capacity is virtually unlimited. Let's, let's see that on the AWS website. How much data can I store in Amazon S3? The total volume of data and number of objects you can store in Amazon S3 are unlimited. The second question say, for which additional process that AWS have sole responsibility? AWS EM policies, physical security, Amazon S3 bucket policy, or AWS cloud trail logs. So the right answer is B, physical security. Let's see that on the AWS website. So AWS responsibility is security of the cloud. AWS is responsible for protecting the infrastructure that run all the service offered in AWS cloud. The the infra this infrastructure is composed of the hardware, software, networking, and facilities that run AWS cloud services. The third question says, a company need to migrate their website from on-premise to AWS. Security is a major concern for them, so they need to host their website on hardware that is not shared with other AWS customers. Which of the following EC2 instant option meet this requirement? A. Reserved instance B. Dedicated instance C. Spot instance and D. On-demand instance So they said that the hardware have to be not shared with other AWS customer. For that, the right, the right answer is B. Dedicated instance Let's check that on the AWS website. Dedicated instances are EC2 instances that run on hardware that's dedicated to a single customer. That several critical Amazon EC2 instances have been terminated. Which of the following AWS services will help you determine who took this action. A. EC2 instance users report. B. Amazon inspector. C. AWS cloud trail. Or D. AWS trusted advisor. So the right answer is C. AWS cloud trail. Last, let's check that on the AWS website. They said that Cloud Trail, Trail provide visibility into user activity by recording action taken on your account. Cloud Trail records important information about each action, including who made the request, the services used, the action, the action performed, parameter of the, the action, and the response element returned by the AWS service provide object level storage in AWS A Amazon EBS B Amazon S3 C Amazon Instant Store or D Amazon EFS The right answer is B Amazon S3 However Amazon EBS is elastic block store that provide block level storage and Amazon Instance Store, it's a temporary block level store. Or EFS, it's 
Elastic File System and its provide shared file store. A company has an AWS Enterprise Support Plan. They want quick and efficient guidance with their billing and account inquiries. Which of the following should the company use? A. EWS Personal Health, Health Dashboard B. EWS Direct Connect C. EWS Support Concierge D. EWS Operations Support The right answer is C. EWS Support Concierge However, EWS Personal Health Dashboard help you to learn about the availability and operation of EWS service and EWS Direct Connect is a network service. Let's check the right answer on the EWS website. Amazon Web Service Concierge is a senior customer service agent who is assigned to your account when you subscribe to an enterprise or qualified reseller support plan. This concierge agent is your primary point of contact for billing or account inquiries. There are two advantages of using cloud computing over using traditional data centers. Choose to A. Eliminating single point of failure B. Dedicated hosting C. Virtualized Compute Resource D. Reserved Compute Capacity or E. Distributed Infrastructure The right answer are A. Eliminating Single Point of Failure and E. Distributed Infrastructure A company needs to host a database in Amazon RDS for at least 3 years. Which of the following option will be the most cost-effective solution? In this question, they said that the company need to have the database at least three years. So, A. On-demand instance B. Reserved instance No. Upfront C. Spot instance D. Reserved instance Partial upfront So in this case, the most cost-effective solution is D. Reserved instance Partial upfront The shared responsibility model, which of the following is EWS responsibility? A. Client-side encryption B. Filtering traffic with security groups C. Configuring infrastructure devices D. Server-side encryption The right answer is C. Configuring infra infrastructure devices Questions say which, I which AWS service can be used to gather information about AWS account activity? Choose to a. Amazon CloudFront B. AWS Cloud9 C. AWS CloudTrail D. AWS Cloud H HSM or e, e. Amazon CloudWatch The right answer is C. AWS CloudTrail and e, e, Amazon CloudWatch in fact, Amazon CloudFront is a content delivery network and also AWS Cloud9 is a cloud-based EDE lets you write and run your code with just a browser. And for AWS Cloud HSM, it provides customer with hardware security model. So let's check the right answer on the EWS website. The first one CloudTrail provides visibility into user activity by recording action taken on your account. 
Cloud Trail records important inform information about each action, including how made the request, the service used, the action performed, parameter for the action, and the response element returned by, by the EWS service. And for EWS CloudWatch, It's observe and monitor resource and application on EWS, on premised and other cloud. So it collects and visualizes real-time logs, metric and event data in automated dashboard to streamline your infrastructure and application maintenance. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.